Hi guys, I'm Robert, the product manager of Tribal Wars. We heard you liked the 8.19 update video, so we've put together another one to answer some of the common questions about the 8.20 update. First of all, we had some questions about the progress bars we added to the headquarters. We added the progress bars because we changed the way that temporary improvements to construction speed are handled. Basically, previously a building had a buff to construction speed if it started building during the time that a buff was active. Now, a buff will have a direct effect on what is in progress. If a buff is active, the building will finish sooner. If the buff disappears again, the building will take longer again. We added the progress bars so you always know what's going on with your construction. Next item, scripts. Uh, we know that community provided scripts are a big part of the game for some of you. Unfortunately, it can sometimes happen that uh, old scripts won't work with the new update. This time, the scripts that broke were more important scripts than usual. Scripts for renaming incoming attacks, for example. This has reminded us how important tagging or renaming incoming attacks is for you. So we're planning on integrating functionality for that directly into the game. This will make sure that tagging survives updates, make it more widely available in the community, and probably also make it more convenient. We hope to be able to share that feature with you on the beta world soon. As a friendly reminder, the beta worlds will always be running the latest version of the game several days before it's released everywhere else. This can be a great opportunity to adjust any scripts. And the last thing we wanted to talk about was the market price graphs. What we wanted to do with those is make it easier to create successful offers. Something we noticed when testing the premium trading feature, a feature which lets you sell and buy premium from other players for resources, is that there were a lot of different offers on the market, some of which would never be accepted because they were too expensive, and some of them that were selling much too cheaply. The graphs are meant to be a convenient way to see how much you can get for what you want to sell. Thanks for listening, guys. That was all for now. Thank you for your feedback, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.